so everyone knows you and you have been mentoring so many of our aspirants so thank you so much surya for doing this today for us on behalf of sec samanda engagement council thank you thank you so much it's all nice uh, so uh, first of all how are you settling in us you just shifted so tell me about that first how 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 are things so it's really difficult in the initial days especially a week when we landed here we came to new york first and then obviously it's a dream come true moment so initially it was very good but moving down the line after a week or so we find it very difficult because of weather you know especially the place where we live the scranton it's in a hill sided area in pennsylvania so it it was very cold the temperatures are ranging from minus 15 to minus 20 degrees centigrade and then every day literally we have a snow here of uh, i would say you know 10 to 15 inch so that made us very difficult to you know to settle to find accommodation that to you know accommodation here to university is very costly for the first thing and then you know it's very difficult to get but slowly with the help of our friends with the help of our connections whatever we have we settled finally and then yeah we are waiting for what to come in the That's future awesome. but but now yeah we are settled we are settled for now yeah initially it took some time but it's good now yeah. you know to say you so many of us look up to you like you are an inspiration you motivate us because you are kind of living the dream which we people see like first clearing cpa and then getting placed at ey and then you go to us to do your masters so hearing this from you hearing your story is inspiring and motivating always so coming back to why did you you know do masters why are you doing masters why masters after cpa what do you have to say for it Well, first of all, thanks you for uh, saying all your words. Uh, it means a lot to me. Yeah, so I have a dream of you know, settling down in the US for at least for some years, and then you know work here, uh, get the you know client-facing experience to be honest while working, and then uh, it's always a dream here. to you know to move to us to spend some quality time to enjoy and then get ourselves some relaxation what not you know you name it everything i have been connected to us from the past two to three years so that's where i used it masters as a bridge between you know the countries so that's only the sole reason and then again going back to study is definitely going to be challenging but not challenging as ca or cpa but yeah <laughs> i'm excited for that so right So if I had to ask you this how did you know doing CPA help you into taking the decision did it help like did it matter like since you're already done with CPA did that help you in making a decision that you want to do masters So I would say it's a rather personal choice than an opinion from my side so it's my choice that you know I wanted to do masters after a CPA so since I came from CA without completing it I am in that mood to you know achieve something whatever comes in my you know way the next time so that's how CPA came and then I struggled for it I worked hard and I achieved that and then I moved my next focus to masters so as I said initially masters I'm just using as a bridge between the countries Okay, so if you ask me how CPA helped about it, I would say it, it didn't help anything in the way, but it's more kind of you know achieving the goals one by one, right? CPA after masters. If if somebody asks, okay, you know, a person like me who is just doing a CPA, that can we do masters without completing CPA? I would obviously say yes because that's there is no linkage between both of them, right? So it's more kind of my choice to you know to complete CPA and then uh, move here for masters. But I would say. at the end of the day cpa is fetch you lot many opportunities here once you complete your masters so if at all now somebody comes and ask me okay i am pursuing cpa you know whether it to complete cpa and then move or you know without completing it and move i would definitely suggest complete cpa and then come here because you don't need to shell out lakhs and lakhs for the universities if you have cpa here so you can just use that you know degree as bridge between the countries and once you complete the degree you will be able to get more opportunities using your cpa than your masters so i would say the same right so you know since you already completed cpa and then you were working at ey as well so i'm sure that you had you knew about the opportunities the profiles you could work in because you're already <coughs> you're done with cpa so if i had to ask you on a global level like what profiles 
can a CPA expect to you know go into abroad? In India, okay, we know we are getting placed at Big Four. So mother has been helping uh, so many aspirants do that. So abroad, how is it? Are I many are we also eligible for all profiles abroad as a CPA only? We are not talking about masters anymore. We are just talking about CPA. Definitely yes. See, in India, it's getting restricted because CPA is an US degree, US degree or US certificate course, right? So, if at all you want to maximize the benefit of it, you need to work in a big four offshore units like you know Deloitte, USA, or EYG, US, PwC, SDC, right? Where you will be having US operations like US tax and US audit or you know US gap. But when you come to US, it's everything about US, right? So definitely CPA will be having a lot many opportunities rather than just restricting it to you know taxation or uh, auditing to be honest everywhere literally everywhere you know you can work you can work with government you can work with you know the state governments the federal and then you know what not every industry you know we can right. work because see at the end of the day cpa is an accountant right and uh, literally everyone needs an accountant no matter you know what the company is it's just because in india you know it's getting restricted because we have to work in only you know in us operations to get yeah. maximum benefit out of cpa but once you are in us it's it's everything so you know as an accountant you have to do from scratch like from audit to taxation and then you know that's the thing so you know you can literally work anywhere true. here Absolutely. it's not like you know we will be having only very limited properties that's definitely not true you can literally work anywhere and anywhere. you know there are a lot many opportunities here for accountants i would say definitely great so th- that's great to know and that i mean you must have researched so we'll take your word for it so <laughs> yeah. you know i would just out of out of the curiosity we have seen so many of your videos when you said that cpa in a way kind of help you were not what you are seeing surya now it's not the surya we you were right you have said that in so many yeah. of the videos we have seen mm-hmm. so as a cpa aspirant what would you suggest people do extra other than just reading the book and clearing cpa what is that extra thing you did you want us to do as well to you know to obviously get okay. a job because all of us are studying at the end of the day to get placed somewhere so what would you suggest so i would say find a passion and get attached to it rather than just you know materialistic things just find a purpose for yourself first of all why you are doing it and then obviously everything falls into place and if you want me to say something extra if you want to do like you know you have to research about you know what's the profile you would like to you know work in rather in mentoring i used to get lot many questions that you know okay what's the best profile you know to work in after cpa or you know which industry i have to choose so these are the little things you know which we need to make ourselves to be clear upon so once you complete cpa you are ready to apply here like let's say you know okay uh, if you are interested in tax you will be going into tax only and then you will be applying for that it's not like you know okay you are applying two profiles in taxation two profiles in audit we should not be unclear at that moment so you know while studying for cpa find your purpose why you are doing for it and then you know see yourself in that role for some time like you know by with the help of simander you would be having a lot many internship opportunities right so we are seeing now people getting placed like anything you know in internships which are going on so even that helps you to decide you know whether that role is fit for you or not like for example my in my case i got sitting group permanent taxation internship okay. initially when i started my cpa so that really helped me to you know focus on my tax career and then you know that's how i decided like you know okay if at all i'm going to complete cpa and then you know i would be obviously going back to tax session so that's how you know you have to take a decision and you have to see yourself like you know okay i mean to this profile or that profile rather than you know being unclear after completing cpa so i would say the same you know find a purpose and then work hard for it great of course right i mean you've said this in so many of your other videos as well find a purpose and you know work towards it so very true yeah okay so if i had to ask you this question like you were just talking about your internship like the when you worked mm-hmm. at Citroen Cooperman right so while doing cpa do you think doing an internship like kind of adds value to your cpa qualifications like be it in india or mm-hmm. abroad do you think a internship will actually add some weightage to your resume in what way will it and yeah definitely definitely it's going 
gonna be you know adding some latest you know to some strength to your profile for sure you know we can't uh, outweigh that right so I can't deny that but you know there are some things which we have to be focused on while thinking of in um, doing internship while pursuing cpa like you know there might be some people uh, who are very demotivated you know like for example we have we have many ca students who couldn't clear ca final and then came to cpa right so when we talk with them they are at most uh, focused on clearing you know cpa rather than getting job sure. or you know something like that so for those kind of people it's it's not necessary to do an internship you know even though if adds some weight uh, to the profile for those kind of people it's just that you know the satisfaction which they want to achieve rather than you know being as a failure uh, by not clearing cs so for those people i would say you know it's not necessary to do an internship but you know if at all you want to have some experience or you know like i said uh, in my case if you want to know like how the profile will be and you know how the culture of an organization will be so then in that case you know internship you can try you can try and explore for like it's going to be like three or four months or max to max six months right so that's a very good chance but one has to also think that while doing internship it's obviously becomes very difficult you know to study for cpa because uh, if people are taking you for an internship it means that there is some you know heavy load of work and then you know you are assigned to that and you can't just say to yourself that you know okay i will study and you know and i will do the internship at the same time so you have to compromise on uh, some things like studying you know if you want to work for an internship so other that's why i always suggest uh, you know people to leave this to you know themselves to see whether you know they want internship really or you know they want to get satisfaction only by completion of cpa so you know in that way it depends on person to person but yes definitely you know internships gonna add some weightage to your profile and then if you want to take me as an example i got more uh, packages to be harnessed you know only because i took my internship okay so they counted the experience and then you know they increased my package rather than you know treating me as a fresher and obviously that gets counted here broad as well so you know that's really going to help but everything comes at a cost as we say so you know if you want to go for an internship then you have to sacrifice some of your time for your uh, cp qualification so yeah so if at this moment like you took a decision to take a break from your work and then go pursue masters right so is there i mean just out of curiosity is there a way that you can you know like shift the timing of doing your masters after maybe a couple of years of working you know would that make sense or what you did makes more sense i mean on what basis does a person decide do you want to first go work abroad because doing masters like you said it's a pretty costly affair right not everyone can loans and everything is there keeping that aside not everyone can just go start masters in doing so a better viable option would be first to work abroad you know then earn a bit and then maybe do masters with your own earnings and stuff so what do you have to say on that would you have to so- have something to say Yeah yeah sure surely i can say something about it see you know working in a country is definitely you know not easy, not an easy thing i mean you know first thing is you have to know about the regulations of a work visa like let's say you know if it is us you know you can only work here if you have a h1b or you know internal visa which we call as l1 or l2 okay so getting these visas are uh, very difficult now it is and then you know h1 follows a lot to system so you know out of 5 uh, to 6 lakh applicants which are filing every year only 85 thousand get selected okay so it's like that you know it's very unlikely or i would say you know it's 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 very difficult to you know to get a work visa in countries like in, you know united states for sure so then what people needs to do is they have to come through study route you know no matter if you have some work experience or not you know, in any your home country like for me example i have only one year of experience with ty and then i came here so you know if it depends again you know like if you want to move you know very fast to a country study option is only that route or else if you think like okay you know this investment is something you know which i could defer for some time or you know which i can't right. afford then definitely you know you have to work for like three or four years request for an internal transfer or you know you can apply from a sponsor in united states so you know it's definitely gonna be difficult rather than the study route but yes you know there are options you know it differs from country to country like let's say for canada it's its work permit is different and for uk it's different for australia it's different so that's what i'm saying from the first you know find a purpose like you know where you want to work you know and then uh, decide what are all the factors involved in the type of study route if you, if you want to do very fastly from the study route or if you want to 
just make the things slower and if you could you know manage with your work then you know come with your uh, work experience and stuff but yeah it again comes with an individual life right. so okay. right so basically it's for you to figure out your route it's for you to figure yeah. out your direction right hmm. wherever you are right so it's it's the priorities right so my priority right. is to get very settled very soon so you know i thought like you know okay no matter what the investment is i thought of okay you know managing it by alone and then you know coming here and then you know within i mean see that's what i'm saying so once you have cpa you don't need to get into you know prestigious universities you know and then sell out crores and crores of money so once you have cpa you just need to get through some decent oh. colleges which would right. be costing only you know like let's say 20 to 25 lakhs and then your expenses of 10 lakhs per uh, year and right? so you know that comes to around 30 to 40 lakhs which you can really you know repay within one year of your work experience here okay with one year of your earnings right. so that's what i'm saying so you know we have to figure out you know whether if uh, what are my priorities first and get them no. So what's the purpose behind that so definitely if you are clear about it then you know there are really no stopping from that great so uh, now that you were just talking about that uk has different i mean permit and regulations and canada has different so before going up to us i'm pretty sure you must have researched so could you be able to tell us a bit about what are the other countries a cpa can you know where the opportunities are more i mean cpa is kind of recognized in 120 countries i get that but how like what are the major com- countries you researched on like you would have tried to go there like apart from us which other country canada stands first in the place for sure because it's the neighboring country of the united states so and then also if you i am sure everyone knows that we do have an mra with canadian cpa and right. you know, us right. cpa where you'll be getting you know canadian cpa degree so if there is an mra then you know you can definitely understand the strength of us cpa right so um, as well we do have some papers exemptions in you know uk acca and then we do have an mra with australia and ireland so you know wherever you find an mra it shows that you know there is a super uh, you know power to cpa there right? right so i would say uh, there is australia there is ireland there is canada you know besides us and then there is also uk so obviously their cpa will be having more value but still you know us cpa has some strength to it that's where uh, they get into these mrs and then you know they are recognizing the things right so yeah outside of us everywhere uh, you would be having you know, very good you know strength to cpa rather than just sticking to us because see us companies are everywhere right so even in right. india also we are getting companies right now you know a lot of outsourcing is being happened here so it's not like no more you know restricted to us but you know it's like exploring everywhere of the world and you know the qualification with qualification right so thank you so much Teja for doing this for us and you've been a help to so many of aspirants including myself you are my mentor and having this conversation with you is kind of a pleasure and you are a part of SEC as well so I don't think I need to tell you thank you for doing this because you are family anyways so but you know it's good to know the research that you have done because we did not have we don't have mentors if you don't mentor who will i mean i i mean you were mentored by shripal sir so and you will be mentoring us because we people just dream i mean we just dream that you want to go abroad but then not many of us can research the way you did because and your insights help always so thank you so much for taking the time out and doing this for us Thank you so much, Supriya. I appreciate your words, and then you know I will always be there whenever uh, you know you need something or you know if anybody needs something at all. And yes, I would definitely say you know having a mentor at uh, the difficult times would really help us. And then I have to thank Supriya sir, right now I listen every day <laughs> here right now uh, after coming or you know even before starting my CPA, he's there for for me you know from all the time. So I can definitely understand whatever you are saying right now. You know it makes more sense. And yeah, thank you so much once again for. Uh, thank you for uh, you know thank you actually for always saying i'm just to call away to mentor so that kind of gives the confidence that okay we can just call teja whenever we are not feeling fine whenever we are having a doubt on completing cpa so thank you again thank you so much yeah thank you so much